So with this um, bug, the one that I've done in paint, I'm going to um, just use a wash background using some watercolours. These are the same watercolours that we would have at school where you can just um, create some, some background effects. Now, I don't want the colour to be too strong. So you can see then that I initially put some colour down, but then I washed it into the water to take some colour out. And I'm just working carefully around the edge of the bug, but I'm pulling the colour out. I'm not going back into the paint, I'm using the water just to sort of pull the colour away. And again, I'm gonna form almost like a square effect around. And I'm gonna change yellow. So I'm not going to use the same type of yellow because just as when we work with um, crayons, we often will blend colours together. I want to do the similar with the paint. I don't want it all to be just um, the same yellow. So I want to get some blending and variation of colours. I don't want it to be just a flat colour behind. Otherwise I could have um, just stuck it on a piece of coloured paper. So I'm just working a little bit carefully around the edge of my bug, using the tip of my brush to do that. The paint is quite wet and quite watery, so it's enabled me to, to move it around the shape quite easily. And as I said, I'm letting it sort of fade out as it goes through. I will show you at the end so that you can see a bit better. So I'm going to continue further up the bug. You can see that I am again taking off paint off my brush and then coming back on with water. Taking care around the shape of the bug, taking less care or I'm less concerned when I'm coming outside. So I'm not going to get a totally flat colour. I don't want a totally flat colour. I want it to have a little bit of movement in with it. Um, you can see how much water I am using to blend it out. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the orangey tone now um, and work some of that in so that that starts to, to give some variation of tone. I'm just doing this um, in a way that I just think works with the bug that I've done. So I'm making decisions as I'm going along but obviously you have to be quite quick in those decisions because otherwise you don't want the paint to dry out, you don't want big areas um, to form of one colour, you want it to try and look blended in. If you remember back to when we did some of those um, it's the very start of term where you were, we were working with watercolour paints and just beginning to learn how to, how to work with them with some, some wet areas. So I've got my base on there and I'm reasonably happy with that. It's not perfect, but it's good enough, I think, for what I'm looking for. Add a little bit more orange onto this, this base area. So hopefully you can you can sort of see that reasonably well. It's difficult because I don't have anyone to hold the um, camera for me. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my paper towel and lay it over the bulk of my um, bug. Okay, because I want to do a little bit of flicking. So you could put anything over this, a spare piece of paper. So I'm going to take a slightly deeper colour. In fact, um, I'm going to go with a little bit of, of some red and some of the orange. Now, can you remember in the past where we've done some sort of tapping and flicking with our brush or working on? So I am just, I've got fairly watery um, paint and I'm going to tap on the edge of my brush. I'm just going to grab a spare piece of paper here and place that over there. I don't want it to go over my other bug. And I'm just going to, to work those on. So I'm just trying to create a little bit of a different effect in the background so it's slightly different from um, the pencil one that I've done. So I'm just adding it on here. Okay. Just 
tapping away with my brush. It doesn't matter too much if it does go over your bug. It will probably create quite a nice effect. Trying to direct it into certain areas. Okay, I'm going to rinse that off and I'm going to come in with a different colour. So I'm going to come in with more of the orange. So I'm going to add water to my paint. Pick up a little bit more water because it wants to be fairly watery and I'm going to sprinkle that on top. So you know how I love to blend colours and mix them in. We don't. It gives a sort of slightly richer effect than one colour. It'll give you lots of different tones. So I'm just creating that effect over on my bug. Now another thing I can do is wash out my brush and then just go over with some water because the water will then help to to spread some of those out, especially if the, the paint had started to dry. It'll actually give quite a nice effect. So I'll lift that off now and it's come into most of those areas. So if I lift up the camera carefully or the iPad, hopefully you can see the effect that that has created. And if I just, oops, you're gonna see the ceiling for a moment, just turn it over and you can see the two together. Hopefully you can see those. If not, I'll take a photograph and put it on the two different effects.